everyone and welcome back. I know it's been a hot minute since I have been um, on here filming, but life just gets busy. Um, hopefully the lighting is okay. Um, I have some new light bulbs. I'm just waiting to get um, better direct lighting to come in um, to hopefully make the lighting even better. So today I am coming with the June Ipsy bag. I know um, I'm a little late getting it, uh, this video out. It's already July, but they've just mailed off the July Ipsy bag. Um, so I think I have everything that was in this bag. Um, I've been using it um, since I everything since I got um, the bag in the mail, and so things have kind of been spread out. So I think I got everything that was in June's bag. And I have to say right off the bat, I'm not as happy with June's bag as I was with May's bag. Um, not that June, sorry, I'm always like fluff in the middle of doing videos. I don't know why. But anyways, it's not that June's bag was bad or wasn't really that great. It's just that May's bag was so good and I really felt like they sort of set the bar up here. And June's bag is kind of more like right here. So anyways, this is what the actual bag looked like that it came in. It's sort of this like, I don't know, neoprene kind of um, material. It's solid black in the front, the texture, I don't know, there we go. You can see it says Ipsy and then it has like this like bright coral zipper. Oh, they're in my purse. Can you close the door? Thank you. Um, so it's okay. It's definitely not as cute as May's bag. So we'll see what July is. I looked at the sneak peek in July, and I feel like it's another, I don't know. I mean, who knows? I could, I could end up getting July's bag, which I think is going to be kind of another just like okay bag. It may be great. But let's see what we had in here in June. So... June's bag was um, Swim Into Summer, and this one was styled by Chris Crispy. Um, she is uh, a, a YouTuber, and she does some really amazing um, makeup work, so if you have not subscribed to her, she's not like vintage or retro or anything like that, but she just does like some really good makeup um, technique and looks, so definitely check her out. So the first thing, like I said, I've been starting to use things already, so I've kind of taken stuff out of some of the packages, so I'm just going to start grabbing things. So the first thing, and this is honestly what I was the most excited to try, and to be perfectly honest, I'm like 100% disappointed in it. But these are the Alchek, Alchek, um, I don't know, there we go, um, Alchek. Dermatologist MD, D-Puff Eye Pad, Soothing Hydrator, Reduces Appearance of Fine Lines and Wrinkles. So these, like these little pads, I don't know how well you can see that. I'm kind of sitting super far away from the camera. Hi, there I am. Um, so they're like these little D-Puff pads and you put them underneath your eye. And... Um, it came with two of them, so I tried one already, and to be honest, I felt like they were so uncomfortable to wear. Every time I blinked, it felt like my eyes couldn't move. They're really heavy. Um, this is, they suggest that you use two to three times per week, wash your face, remove plaids from plastic liner, apply under each eye with shiny side facing skin, wear a minimum of 30 minutes. Remove slowly from edges, rinse off any residue. Um, they just, I don't know, like it was just so uncomfortable to wear them. And 30 minutes was like torture. Like literally as soon as I put them on, and they're, they're big. I mean, they went from like the inside of my eye, like all the way out here. Like they're huge. Um, they really do sort of take up, you can see, like, that's end-to-end, -end, like, how big they are. 
they are just really super uncomfortable to wear. I didn't really notice anything all that spectacular. I feel like I'm kind of dark. I don't know. Hopefully the lighting's okay. Anyways, um, but yeah, this isn't anything that I would ever repurchase. I just feel like they're so big. It was almost like having a giant band-aid under my eye. You know, like the, um, the band-aids are specifically to protect if you have like a, sorry, my daughter keeps coming in and out because she knows I'm filming. Um, but you know, like those band-aids that are for like, um, what is that called? Uh, blister protection. Like, and so they're big and thick. That's what this felt like. And I mean, I, I really didn't notice anything spectacular afterwards. So anyways, like I said, it's not anything that I would ever repurchase again. The next thing I got is the It Cosmetics Brow Powder, Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil in Universal Taupe. So I got kind of like a mini size of it. So it's got the spoolie, and then it's got um, this set, the end with the thing. And I actually really like this. This is probably my favorite product out of everything in this bag. Um, I've been using this on my eyebrows. I think it's great. Um, it's really thin, the pencil. And one side is thick and one side is thinner. I don't know if you'll really be able to see it. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I really like it. And to be honest, like this is my favorite brow spoolie of any product I've used. Um, so this was actually kind of my winner out of everything in this bag. There's still one thing that I haven't used yet, but I'm going to be trying it out soon and I'll explain that why. But yeah, I was actually pretty impressed, um, with this brow pencil because normally I don't really like brow pencils because I don't have a lot of hair. I have really like fine eyebrow hair um, and I have a lot of gaps from scarring and just over tweezing and waxing where hair has never gone back but I really like this so that's actually a winner for me. The next thing I have in here is the Smashbox Photo Finish oil free uh, foundation primer. This is kind of like a mini deluxe size. This is the first primer that I ever ever used. Um, I bought this religious, religiously when it first came out and I was obsessed with it and I, I kind of have to try it again. There's I had some kind of a reaction to a product that I used and I'm not exactly sure what it was and I don't know if it was product specific or if it was dirty brushes or what. And so my skin is finally like almost 100% healed from it. So I'll have to try this again because I don't know if this is what I had a reaction to. Um, I think it was something else that had gotten really old that I was still trying to use up, but I'm not sure. And so I'm sort of like leaving that to the side until I can sort of figure it out. So pretty soon I'll give this a try again. But this is a nice primer. It's definitely a silicone based primer. I much prefer the sort of like pore filling kind of um, denser primers. This one's a little bit thinner. But yeah, this is like all around a great primer um, in general. They have uh, a light version if you have really oily skin. Um, but this is like a cult favorite of mine, like I said, and especially because Smashbox has gone back and changed their testing practices. They have pulled all of their products from China and they have ceased all U.S. testing. So good for Smashbox, even though they're owned by somebody else who still does have questionable testing practices. I'm very proud of Smashbox for returning to their roots and going back to a cruelty-free status. So that's very cool. Um, next is the, this is the tray stick. It is a mini shadow crayon in Venetian gold. So the mini version looks like this. Then you open it up and you have the product. And it's just a really pretty kind of like bronzy gold. Can you see that? Um, gold color. Um, my favorite use for this is actually to define my under eye. It's like the perfect kind of taupey gold shade to go underneath the eye. I do really like it for that. I have no idea where you buy these. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, I don't know. This will, I mean, last me for days. Um, but it is nice, and I know that it came another. I know it comes in other colors, and there's some people that got uh, other shades than this one. And then, lastly, I got a sample size of the Formula X nail color. This is in the color. I'll pull it out. It's a really pretty color for summer, and I think I'm gonna put this on my toes. It's like this really like hot pink. Maybe not really corally, but oh, it's called Power Source. But it's just this really pretty, like deep, kind of hot pink. So this is gonna go on my toes. I forgot to bring it with me last time I got my nails done. So I don't know their testing policies. I don't think I've really looked it up and it doesn't really stay on the box. Um, but, uh, anywho. Yeah, I'll give it a try and see how it goes. Um, so I've got this. So I do really like this color. So that's it for the June bag. Stay tuned for the July bag. Um, hopefully I can get back to filming on a regular schedule. Um, I also have a second channel now. No, 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 no. Out. Sorry. The children are home for summer. Um, anyways, it is called Modern Retro Lashes. I will leave a link down below. I am going to be filming the intro for that channel. It is brand new. And so you guys can go and check out the intro video and decide whether or not you would like to support me over on that channel. I would love it if you would. And um, as always, please um, give me a thumbs up and like my video. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You don't have to watch all my videos, but you never know if you're gonna miss out on something that you would like unless you hit the subscribe button. So I hope you all are well. Thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed and all of your support. Um, I will be doing a surprise giveaway probably in my next video for this channel. Um, and you will just have to stay tuned for that. So hope you all happy, healthy, and having a great summer. And until then, I will see you next time. Later.